Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another Halloween scene. We're going to have a witch bent over looking at her cauldron and we're going to use some fun colors today, some unusual colors for my palette than what I normally use. Uh, it's going to be a little bit darker, a little bit more mysterious and dramatic and spooky. So hope you guys are excited about this one. So hit that subscribe now and let's get ready to paint. Here are some of the colors that we're going to be using today. We've got black, turquoise, olive green, white, and a little bit of neon red. And if you need any alternatives for the colors I'm using today, like if you don't have these specific colors, just leave a question below for which one you're not sure about and I'll give you some other color options for you, okay? I've also got a little bit of neon yellow, cool. And I'll be using some neon violet. So we're working on a 12 by 16 primed canvas today. I used acrylic gesso, one coat of white, let it dry. I've got a large blending brush. This is a number 50 filbert brush. I'm just gonna get the canvas a little bit wet like I always do. This helps to prep the canvas so that it takes the paint a lot better. So you just wanna cover it evenly in a very, very thin coat of paint. And we're gonna start with our background color and I'm gonna begin by using the neon red. So this is gonna be a red background, glowing red, and then the purple and a little bit of black. And then um, the witch is gonna be mostly, her outfit's gonna be in black and then we're gonna have some green coming up here. So the colors are gonna be very complimentary and really, really show up. So I'm just gonna start right back here with this beautiful, bright glowing neon red. I'm gonna take just a little bit of the yellow and change the temperature up a little bit on this side, just for fun. Then, right into my neon violet. I'm gonna take this all around the canvas. until we have an oval shape here in the middle. This is gonna help draw our eyes into the focal point, being the witch and her bubbly cauldron here. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of my black and a little bit of olive green without washing my brush off. And I'm going to start to add some taps along the corners here using the very tip and the end of this filbert brush. This is going to help to create a little bit more atmosphere and some spooky looking trees. And we'll add some branches there as well. Now when I get down here, I'm going to line my brush up along the side and I'm going to press, pull, and flick. And then I'm going to start to pull and sweep and curve my brush over. Do the same thing again on this side, a little bit quicker. a little bit more. This is going to make the outside area just a little bit darker. Okay. 
I'm gonna use a liner brush now and I'm just gonna get my brush a little bit wet. Mix in this black with a little bit of that leftover neon red, neon purple, even a little bit of that olive green color. And we'll just start, I'm gonna turn my brush over so the handle's pointing straight up. And we'll create some tree trunks here and some branches. We'll come over this side, do the same thing. take an oval mop brush. You can use any stipple brush you want. I'm just going to take a little bit of this black and green again. I'm using olive green today and if you're curious it's this one right here. And I'm going to add some more leaves and foliage to the tops of these branches and tree trunks. down the side, the edge here, it all helps to create that atmosphere. It creates kind of a nice frame too. Okay, I'm gonna use another filter brush. This one is a number 12 and I'm gonna make this glow a little bit lighter in the background. So I'm just gonna use my neon yellow and some white, a tiny bit of water on my brush. I'm gonna need just a little bit more water here. And then I'm going to add little hints of this using the bottom part of my brush and just going to wiggle around here. Push to load the brush. Push and tap. Get a little bit of that olive green on there too. So see how I'm turning and picking up my brush? I push and tap and then I turn it. So I get a different look and direction for some of the leaves and foliage. Start working on our witch right away and I'm going to use a smaller brush now. I'm going to use my number four filbert. This one's got a long longer, it's narrower, a longer filbert compared to one like that. So see how this one's a bit wider. And I'm using this narrower one for because I need to make her hat a little bit narrow, right? So it'll be easier and I'll have more control with this brush. Just gonna get it a tiny bit wet. This helps the paint spread across the canvas and helps that paint flow, but you don't wanna to have too much water on your brush. Otherwise your paint will just be see-through and you don't want it to be transparent. Okay, so we know that the cauldron is gonna be right about here. So let's just add this here.
I'm gonna do something kind of this shape, right? A little flat pancake or oval on the top. And then it'll come down wide down here at the bottom. And we're gonna have like whatever witch's brew is gonna be going on in here. We can even pick up a little bit of this olive green and start adding that. Start making our concoction here, our potion. A little bit of turquoise, a little bit of olive green. Okay, then I'm gonna take a little bit of white with my black this time. And I'm gonna start to paint this in. I'm adding a little bit of white so that we get that round look where it'll pop out a little bit so the light will hit it just slightly and we'll see a little bit of a highlight in some areas. And then really dark in others. So right here around top right around the side. And the bottom, before we start adding, we'll have a fire down here too. You wanna have it really dark for a shadow down here. Okay, and then she's leaning over and we'll say her arms are gonna be right about here. Let's say like her armpits are right about there and then her dress or the rest of her body will be hidden, but it's gonna be black so we can paint that in. We'll go, oh, the sides of her hat are going to be right about there. The brim of her hat or the brim of her hat. And then we can just see a little bit of her face. Pointy, witchy chin. shoulder coming around here and her fingers somewhere in there we'll add those after And her elbow comes down here, shoulder, armpit, elbow, up to her wrist. And then her hand here. Again, we'll add some lines there for some fingers after. I'm gonna take a little bit of white with my black and we'll add Another pancake shape here. Oval, flattish oval like this.
we'll paint it in like that, leaving a circle in the middle for the rest of her hat that comes up. But then I'm going to start to add a little bit more white and make some of these areas lighter. And then it's going to be brighter on this side. And this will all dry a little bit darker. I can come in and start to add some more highlight here. I'm going to add a little bit of smoke, right? Because we're going to have a fire down here. So we can add a little bit of this white and then kind of just have a little bit of this color down here. And then pick up a little bit more of the white. And just wiggle and squiggle. And that'll just be the first, this will just be the first little bits of our flames. Now I'm going to take, we'll let that just sit there and dry. And we'll take the black again and we'll start working on her hat. Finish her hat, I should say. So we'll come around and then we're going to make this into a triangle. I like the top of my witchy hats to be Kind of quirky looking. So a little something like that. And I'm going to come around the edge here and just outline the brim of her hat and then add a little bit more of a shadow. Just want to darken that that color up a little bit, but light gray. I want to make it more of a medium gray. So the light is shining mostly on this right side of the hat. And then we have shadow happening on this side. And just right back here, just paint another little triangle right there. I'm just making a little shadow to create more of like an indentation right there. Okay, I'm gonna add a little highlight on this side of the hat, the right side. I'm going to start it kind of inside though so it stays outlined. Oops. And I'm going to create these little lines and wiggles and that will give me some uh, little wrinkles 
creating a little bit more movement and character to her hat. I'm gonna take a little bit of my neon yellow warm. Remember, look below the video in the description area for a full list of the colors we're using today and the brushes. I'm gonna be using a number two round brush now. I'll get that a little bit wet, dry the drips off, take a little bit of the white, a little bit of that neon yellow warm. And just add some of that right there for her, the bottom of her face. We can't see anymore. It's hidden. And she's got her witchy fingers coming out. And then here, I'm just going to do a few lines. I think we're going to have her holding a lantern. I need to put a little, little bit of black in between her fingers. So her hands like this holding something. Outline this a little bit more, bring this up higher. Her hands kind of like reaching out like this. So we're gonna see her her uh, cuff of her or sleeve of her shirt or dress here underneath and right above. a little bit more white And those are just her knuckles. Now I'll wash that black out, go back into my yellow warm. And now we can add some witchy hair and I wanna add this yellow warm with a little bit of green a greenish grayish color so we're just going to leave a thin black outline to separate her hat from her hair We'll come in and just add a little bit of black in here. Add 
then back over my green. A little bit of that white, warm yellow. And I'll add this color in here, scumble it out of my brush. I gotta tell you, these Halloween paintings are so much fun. I should have done more of these uh, over the past couple of years on my channel. I didn't realize how much fun it would be. Um, so now for her hat, I'm gonna add a buckle and I'm gonna do it in black, solid black. So we're gonna come bring it all around. Right around like a smile, a scoop. I've got to let that dry a little bit, so I'm going to go over here and just clean up the edges here a little bit before I come in and add a lantern. Okay, so she'll be holding the lantern in between her fingers like this. We'll come down right about here. We'll just do a little line, a little bit more of a shadow there. So it really looks like she's holding something. I'll go up in a slight little arch like that. And we'll add a little ball on the top. I'm going to take a bit of white and make a grayish color now. Go across the top. And make a rectangle that just gets a little bit, goes in slightly at the bottom here. And I'm gonna follow around the handle here. Bring this up a little bit higher actually. I'm gonna bring this up a little higher, yeah. Sorry guys. I do this a lot though, I show you how you can fix accidents. So I just take a little bit of water and just scumble it off. We're gonna have a little bit of light gray in there. A little bit of black to outline underneath. Just a simple little lantern. You can make yours however you want. And we'll be adding some light inside of there, of course. But I think we could get started on our fire and um, her, her witch's brew in here. So I'm gonna take see a little bit of turquoise a little bit of white i don't want to have too too much on my brush i want that color but i don't want to have uh 
too much paint. So what I'm going to do is push and scumble around, wiggle. We want to have it look like it's steam and this potion that's kind of rising up, right? We also want to create the idea it's kind of spilling over the edge. And it's creating this glow. And this turquoise against that purple is really, really pretty. And it really gives it that glowing effect that we want this to have, don't we? We want this to feel magical. Twisting and turning and wiggling my brush around. Also want to have a little bit more of that neon yellow. This is the cool neon yellow. Dry that off. Take some white, some of that yellow. And we'll add, maybe there's some bubbles. I'm just doing the same technique, just with this color, or these colors now. We can take all three colors and even add a little bit of green to her hands and her skin. We want this part to really glow, so I'm going to add extra white and extra yellow in here. And then more of the turquoise and the green around the sides like this. little bit of water on my brush. We'll have some brighter areas right in here. And now we can start adding to our fire. I do need to do a buckle here, but I'm just waiting for that to dry slightly and I'm going to start my fire with this yellow warm so we can go right over top of some of that white Take a little bit of a little bit more of yellow, neon red, 
use both yellows, a bit of white in there as well. And I've got three colors here, white and both yellows. And we can just wiggle, push, wiggle. So it looks like a bunch of little snakes everywhere. And then with some red and some yellow, a few wiggles and squiggles here. Take some black. Add a little bit of black in and around these areas here to make that fire stand out a little bit more. We still have a little hint of um, that gray. And we need to add some light in this lantern. So I'm going to take a little bit of my neon yellow warm and some white. Add a little dab like that. And then with some red and some yellow cool. You can just carefully go around. I'm going to take white and yellow warm and add a rectangle right here. So the buckle is going to come up higher than the, the belt or the ribbon around her hat. Then with a clean brush, a little bit of black. I'll outline the buckle.
and just check this over and see if there's anything else. There's a little black spot here and I'm just gonna make it look like there's some bats. There's one here too. These little bats like that. And finally come in here and add a few more silhouette branches and tree trunks. guys are enjoying my tutorials and you're learning a lot and getting inspired make sure you leave a comment below let me know and subscribe to my channel for more it really helps give me an idea of what to put out there and also helps my channel in the algorithm so that more people can find my channel and paint along with us now, if you guys want to share your versions that you've painted from my tutorials, I've got a wonderful group uh, growing on Facebook. There's over 6,000 of us now. It's a really nice, supportive group community. And you can share your versions of the paintings you've done from all my tutorials. I'd love to see them. Can't wait for you to join. Hope you guys had fun painting this one today. I want to wish you happy Halloween. Have a wonderful day. Happy painting. And I'll see you guys all soon in my next video. Bye, guys.